Good morning everyone, finally the vacuum cleaner is done vacuuming here, we did not manage to do it yesterday, usually I prefer to have it done on Friday but well sometimes it is so, that's why I could not speak in the morning, I just showed you a little snippet of my morning. Um, I still look like crazy because I have not washed my face, um, I was trying to tidy up the things over here, I prepared the ranola. Um, which I'm gonna show you and retell a little bit later. Um, also, yeah, this is my look. You can see I have pinned the straw there on the side because it's an excess size, but anyway, way too big on the waist area and they always like hangs like that. And it's very uncomfortable. Uh, you can't do anything about it because the stretchy line, like the stretchy bit is inside this neat. Um, so yeah, you cannot influence the way it looks. Also, I just cannot get over how bad my haircut was done last time ever since I look like, I don't know, like this. Just you tell me. I cannot do anything about it. Even if I try to straighten it or something like that, it always looks odd. I can't even believe that I had to pay like 130 euro for this crap. Literally, I don't have any better polite word than this. But anyhow, I just have to deal with it. Hopefully it will grow out soon. So I was talking about ranola and I have it over here mixed with the yogurt. It's a super easy recipe which I found a few months ago online and I have to open the door. So back, uh, cat food arrived. Anyhow, ranola is made out of like just few ingredients. You can obviously switch some of them to other ingredients that you love. I mix oats together with coconut flakes, dates, chia seeds, um, and honey. Uh, basically that's it. I prepare a larger portion so that I can store it and in the morning when I don't have time or when I prepare a quick bowl or just have simply yogurt I can mix it up. It is very nutritious and fills me up quite long. Um, chia seeds and uh, oats provides a very good balance like in my tummy and gives very good start in the morning. So to keep it short uh, that's what I'm gonna do right now. Just eat my breakfast get ready and then we have a few plans today but I'm gonna be taking you on board as well. Quickly got ready and this is my outfit. Finally could pack out my plushy, <laughs> what is the word, fluffy coat uh, which is in dusk pink color. I'm also wearing my Kelly bag with this little twilly on which I often use as a hairband and I'm wearing a homewear underneath having the neat trousers and the mango sweat shirt top. Um, we are currently going to throw some garbage, like the old shoe rack, uh, which was already damaged and was not functioning fully. And I also consider going later to Ikea to buy one of those cheap Billy shelves. Um, I had this in Bonn when we lived there. I could like uh, put all my shoes and pick up while putting my outfit already first thing in the morning. I want to have it upstairs, like in my dressing room, so that not everything is cluttered at the entrance. Let's see if this works all as I have it in my imagination, but that's the plans for today. And I'm taking you on board with me. At IKEA, you can definitely tell that it's Saturday because all the parking lots are taken. And we just hope that we can get the item that we want without any problems. Sunday over here. I did not really vlog yesterday anymore because when we came it was super late. Um, we didn't eat a lunch and it was like 5 p.m. or so and we both suffered from acid reflux so it was really bad on our stomach. Um, and also the weather was so grey and so dull, indoors especially, the quality of the video would be bad anyway. And we also were in such a rush because of the meal schedule. Um, we left everything that we bought at Ikea in the car anyway. And we made a slow evening, watched a new series which is called The Foundation. I don't really know exactly what to hold of the uh, series yet. We watched three episodes, it has really good uh, reviews for sci-fi um, um, series but um, 
honestly it's a little bit weird so far uh, let's see what comes out of it if you are watching it or you already watched the first season or so please let me know if it gets better um today we have sunny weather outside <laughs> you can see how dirty the mirror looks when the sun shines on it we were thinking about going to do the test drive today but somehow i woke up late i did not want to rush through its weekend it's enough that i have like stress throughout the week every single morning um, and it did not fit Falgo's time schedule, <laughs> so we decided against it. Um, I'm at home, outfit uh, check for you in case you're wondering uh, what a weird look that I'm wearing today. Super old H&M jacquard um, shirt, which is made out of flannel and is super warm. And the color is preparing a little bit ground for the holiday season and which I'm looking forward by the way um it's a cyber week and I'm constantly getting all the cool sales and I don't really have money for anything really um after purchasing my Kelly bag so yeah it's big temptation talking about the holiday season yeah obviously there are tons of things which you would want to get for house um, but back to the outfit. I'm also wearing sweatpants from H&M. Kids section, by the way. You can recognize this on the pockets, which are in front. That's just at the kids section um, that you see such like cuts, which are not on the proper sides, but like in front. So anyone who has kids will instantly recognize that I'm wearing kids trousers. But the length of it is a lot better for me than the grown-up size which always is too long, so I don't really mind wearing the kids' clothes. As you can see, um, these flowers are still residing here and going strong. I bought them for upstairs, for our urn, but uh, because I directly poured the water into the urn, <laughs> it got wet. Apparently it's not made for like storing the water directly into it. Probably you just have to use it as a planter with soil, then it would work or you have to use some plastic pot in it. Anyhow, I had to remove all the water and set it for drying and currently those branches are in here. I think the vase is a little bit too small for it, but I still like the way it looks at the moment. And oh, I think what I have not shown you is this area. We got this uh, rod, like metal rod, uh, from metalbude.de. I'm gonna put the link in the comment section below in case you are searching. This thing won't be staying here, but at the moment I don't have any basket down in here which I want to use for the like guest sleepers and stuff like that. You can see there are cables hanging as well, so we have to get some wall mount which is gonna look nice over there. And it's super simplistic and basic in this corner, but what we decided um, in the end, to be very honest, we had few ideas for this area. First, I thought because we have so many things and everything is sort of open in this um, house um, to have a built-in or a wardrobe that could store um, all the things that we have when we enter the house, the shoes, the umbrellas, the coats. There was a few things that was against this idea. First, when you come in, you're wearing shoes, they sort of smell like sweat, TMI, I know, or there is rain outside, it's still wet, you don't want to store it in um, the closed wardrobe, otherwise it starts to smell very moldy pretty quick, unless there is a ventilation system installed in it, which there would not be a case. But the positive side of such built-in wardrobe is that it would obviously look very tidy up and like all the mess would be behind the doors. We looked at what could suit in this area, but because this niche area is like cut weirdly a little bit, it's 105 centimeter long, we could not find any ready uh, made wardrobes that would perfectly fit in this corner. Most of the wardrobes, uh, which are like out there on the market, are with 100 centimeter that would leave this odd two and a half centimeter um, hollow areas on both sides looking very wannabe but not really um, fitting if you know what I mean. Then we found a separate shop, I don't remember the name right now but they are doing the fronts like custom made so that they don't look very basic but they work with uh, IKEA packs, um, what is it called? Um, 
space in the in the back so yeah just to keep it short we went there and they told that they could do doors but if we wanted to also fill up this two and a half centimeter corners on the on the both sides we would have to custom order that also um i always wanted to have the shoe area and the uh, coat area separated because of this spell circulation which I, meant, which I mentioned earlier uh, that would mean that such custom doors would not work anyway you would have to order to cut them separately and the costs would like astronomically rise so that it was really not appropriate basically I don't know if it was too much information and ramble for you I hope that it was uh, interesting in a way that this thought process continued almost like half a year long um, and we had everything cluttered at the entrance we had old um, shoe rack which was not really functioning as well because it was standing on the corner um, and all my coats were just hanging on it looking very folded and not pretty when worn just to keep it short and i was not as well able to utilize all my items few of my quotes were still stored under the bed area and yeah it was really time to make a decision and i'm glad that it turned out the way it is so far so good looking neat let's see how much effort we have to put to keep it looking tidy up there i just have to make sure that not all of the shoes that i'm like rotating stay down there otherwise it can look really messy as well so most of the shoes i just have to wash and bring up and for that purpose we went yesterday um to ikea to get like a proper billy open shelving where i can like display all my shoes in the morning so when i dress i already can directly pick something and bring down which i think we're gonna be filling up today Momoji, are you enjoying the sunshine? Are you? Sweetheart? Oh, hi, baby. How is life for you? I'm sure you're enjoying it fully. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Here I am upstairs in our future office to be. I say future because it's not tidied up yet to the degree that we want. You can see the table is still a storage area for all the clutter items and in this corner as well there is a lot happening. <laughs> but here was standing the old billy that I'm gonna be using now. So that's the shelf system that i was talking about this was in another room as mentioned earlier and now i'm gonna move all the shoes that i have in here and hope that everything fits the only negative thing is that this is a lot shorter than the wardrobe system next to it but this is the tallest one that uh, comes in the series and obviously I cannot change that. Let's see if I can put something on the top so that it looks nicer in the end but at the moment it is how it is. I don't know if I ever mentioned that but this old wardrobes have um, holes on both sides here and then over here as well because in the old flat all those um, shelves were standing in one row on the one side of the room and they were sort of connected uh, to give more stability. I was thinking to get those small stickers in white color and cover with them. I don't know how seamless they're gonna blend in with the surface or if it's gonna uh, show. But it can't be worse than having those holes. realization that I have way too many shoes but I think I need to really get rid of a few of the shoes as soon as possible which I'm not using including this Dolce & Gabbana which did not 
get sold out last time um, these or even to like sort of gift it away this unworn um, boots by I don't know Massimo Dutti like completely fresh new one um, in these high heels which I never used as well from ASOS maybe just um, throw away these which have been completely worn in and a few other more like this and yeah let's hope that I can add one two more of the shelves and that I still fit in the end but I think it's looking just fine good evening I just prepared myself the Caesar salad and I'm having this sauce from the blockhouse which is pretty good I would say I'm gonna indulge in it but what I wanted to show you most primarily is this big bowl that we got yesterday from Ikea this is a large one and we also got this small one we also got such lanterns um, and a few candles for outside I decided to go first with the IKEA one because I didn't really know how much we're gonna use it uh, so it was not really worth to invest a lot in case it's not something for us but I was thinking to use it somewhere outside um, our outdoor area is not really sorted out at the moment but um, yeah we gotta start with something small I think this video is gonna turn out very long unless I wrap it up at the moment I'm gonna insert here a sh small clip showing you how this looks once it's built and wish you hereby a great weekend I hope you had fun being with us um, if you did, please don't forget to like and subscribe and stay on board. I'm going to see you on my next one.